You know what? I just had a thought. If that dragonfly was in a cage, and we got him to become our slave, does that mean we freed him only to imprison him again? Nah, his freedom was really short-lived. Hello friends, this is Seth of the Cygnus LPs, and I'd like to welcome you back to some more Spyro and to the Dragonfly in this Luau Island. I am Seth of the Cygnus LPs, and Spyro's clearly bored, so maybe I should shut up and not even tell you what we did in the last episode, which was not very much other than getting two extra dragonflies and freeing some piglets. Piglets, yes, they are not pigs at all, they are piglets. They let pigs get hit in the face of me. What? This is... Okay. Anywho, so yeah, we just freed that thing, and I'm going up here because I can. I just noticed I said anywho and so yeah again. I keep doing that. I don't know why. So, I see this gate here. So, you know, this is pretty cool. As you can see, there's a little... It looks like a fire gate, but you see, like, this meteor spinning around. That's probably because it's going to give you meteor breath, and you thought an Armageddon firestorm was bad. I'm going to hit him in the forehead. Yeah. You don't really have any indication of this being what you have to do, but what your goal is is to aim for the tiki's. Your aim is to aim for the tiki walls. Ha ha ha. Oh my jokes. They're so amazing, right? Almost as amazing as this beautiful crosshair that we can't have at any other time. I guess it's only really useful at this point because I'm curious. Does it go down if the time runs out? Nope. So if any of you are wondering why there was a dragonfly flying out of our reach, well, to be honest, the first answer to that would probably be that they grew a brain and realized they can't get captured if they're way up in the air. But apparently they can anyways, because killing our tiki friends will make them fear us into building a bridge. What the heck? You cannot expect me to believe that none of those bubbles hit him until then. Really? I'm not sure what to think about that, but regardless, we got a dragonfly, so it's all good. I can just head back with a clear conscience, and this... Uh, I, I love how they stay there, anyways. I guess you can use it as a power-up and just grab it and then start killing things from afar. That could be an interesting idea. Let's blow it. Is there an invisible wall, or did it just feel like blowing up? It just felt like blowing up. Okay, so but I, I, won't, I won't deny that. Sometimes blowing up can be kind of, you know, I don't, I don't know. There's no point in time where I think that I'd want to blow up, but you know, that's just me, not the invisible wall ball. Invisible wall ball, beautiful. So I don't believe we came to talk to this guy after we freed him from a horrible enslavement at the hands of the Riptox. Good thing but you is saved it me. truly free? I swear I could hear the sausage grinder call in my name. No Sausage problem. Grinder. Saving pigs on vacation is what I was born to do. I, I feel bad for you, Spyro. It's funny because it's true, you know, and if by vacation you mean in a farmer's uniform pretending to be a farmer in a UFO camp. Wait, what? Anywho, we're just going to continue over here because I said so. And because I said so, ooh, nice. This is probably one of the, I'm saying one of, my favorite parts of this level. Um, looks really beautiful. A lot of this level looks beautiful. I'm gonna keep complimenting it again. You thought you got away from the compliments in the last episode, but no. I never really made a note of these guys, because they don't do a very good job of harpooning you, even though they should be a formidable foe, considering they do have an harpoon, which sets them quite far from any other enemy in this game, because you know they actually have a valid way of attacking you. They don't seem to use it, and if they do all that well, probably not. Uh, yeah, so we could look around here, and that's what I'm going to do. Oh, yeah, skills. But you wish you could fly out of things like that. Because, you know, I'm a dragon, and that's what I do. Dragon flies. Drag dragon flies. Oh, you see what I did there? No, nope, me neither, but I felt like pointing it out anyways, because I am that kind of person. Uh, dude, stop. I, I know you love the wall, and you want to give it a big, clingy hug, but, you know, you don't have to. It's not mandatory until we get that gem now you can cling it all you want except for the parts where i'm not clinging it anymore so you can't really cling much of the wall when i'm not doing anything about that he doesn't even really cling to the wall he looks like spider-man just, just just look at that look at that spider dragon spider dragon does whatever a spider dragon does 
Does he look like he's climbing anything? No, he doesn't. He looks like he's just a dragon who's kind of skating on a vertical surface. Look out! Here comes a spider dragon. Yeah! That's what's going on right there. So yeah, spider dragon dictator. This is getting better and better. Not really. Anywho, I'm just gonna fly over there because I see a dragon fly. You didn't see it, but I have a keen eye for that kind of thing, you know. And this one's yellow too, so you see he's all camouflaged with those pots over there. Hey, he's not quite as troublesome as his friend that we got earlier, though. That guy was a pain. Like, I swear, I touched him with a billion bubbles, but then at one point, he was just like, Yeah, you know what? I'm just gonna be a good Pokemon and be caught in your bubble ball. What? I don't even think that's a Pokeball. Should be, though. Bubble ball. Um, I don't know what it would do, considering there's already a net ball that I'm pretty sure helps catch water Pokemon. But whatever. Helps catch Dragonfly Pokemon. So if you see a Yun Mega, you know you can do something about that. Anywho, now that we got that, I suppose that there's no real reason to continue. Oh, well, there is that door, and we do have some time left, so why not? Let's head into this and crash into a marble wall if all senses do not fail me, and by that I mean the sense of sight that allowed me to see me go flying towards a marble wall. Oh, not you hey, again. Hey, Spyro, I was out here checking out my baby manta ray farm, and those stupid rip have scared them all away. Let's what, what, what is with this guy? I guess this guy royally pissed off the space cows, so now they're even following him into these levels and friggin' jamming his transmission. I don't even know. He does not good at talking either way. So, yeah, this guy has baby manta rays now, but the stupid rip talks. Why does this guy have a manta ray farm? You, you, you gotta be a stoner cheetah, rays? you know. Anywho, capture the baby manta rays. I guess that's what we're here to do, right? You're gonna give us a dragonfly if we do it. We actually get to race this guy to see who can capture the most manta rays first. Um, how do we... Move? Okay, you hold B to move. You shoot nets by shooting nets, and by that I mean the X button, because that's what does everything of pertinence. I am doing terribly. I swear to you that I got this on my first try in my practice run. I'm not joking about that. Believe it or not, you probably won't believe it by how bad I'm doing at this. No, this is, I, I don't know, this wasn't as memorable a part to me as, like, the UFO level and stuff, but I must admit, once I got back in here, I remembered this immediately from the game, so I mean, it's somewhat memorable. Probably for how easy it is, because I mean, look, we were having a super false start, and now we're winning. You don't want to catch the ten tentacle tentacles. Yeah, we're playing Pokemon now. Everything that has tentacles is a tentacle. A cool tent. Oh, yay, making references to other people's let's plays. Anyways, I am going to move around and actually grab... I said actually grab that thing, and by actually grab that thing, I meant shoot a net out of the Mama Manta Ray, because, you know... Mama Manta Rays shoot nets out of them. I probably don't watch Discovery Channel enough, because if I did, I'd probably see something like, Mama Manta Rays actually have this organic film that shoots out of them to capture their babies. And I'd be going, Cowabunga, what the hell, dude. video game logic suddenly makes sense. Time, and my mind and they're blown. safe and sound. Cowabunga, dude, yeah, totally. Well, apparently I got them all safe and sound. I don't think that even mattered, considering if he got more than you safe and sound, he probably wouldn't give you the dragonfly anyways, but hey, he'll, he'll pretend that it does. Krishna Morty. Krishna Morty. I, I don't know. Wanna Something about that name just again? rings too many letters to me. Want to try capturing them again? Not at all, all right. my I'll friend. See if I, can I am them going down to leave you, you now. Back. They seem to like the way I sing. <laughs> I'm trying to picture that. Every time I hear that bit of dialogue, I just try to picture that. Yo, man, this is the rap. The rap of this cheetah cat. You know, that's totally what his singing would sound like. I'm not even lying. I tell you, though, he better own his own record label, because I ain't signing that crap. Anyways, let's just continue on, why not? We actually surprisingly have time because suddenly I learned how to make good progress. So let us progress with this time we have from making progress. Huh, it's an endless cycle of progress. Anywho, so you can head on here and there is this thing. It's like a netted in part of it. I don't know. Pretty neat, 
kind of random. For some, for some reason, I remember that too. That was like a memorable part of this level for me from when I first played it all those years ago. Oh, hey, the random underwater cave with a bunch of nets in them. Maybe I just did the Mama Manta Ray thing and I was confused about nets as I am right now, so I suddenly started noticing every single net in here. Noticing also that we're actually netted in. Alright, so that's pretty neat. Ew, I better kill these things before before my dragonfly becomes less yellow. Yeah, you know, because I need to kill things so that my pet dragonfly here... I, I won't call Sparks a slave, or will I? Well, I guess he's the biggest slave of them all, because he actually helps me out gathering treasure, too. I don't know. Maybe he's just my accountant. Uh, so I guess on that note, we might as well end off the video in this beautiful place. Another quite interesting place. Look, there's a pirate ship. He lives on a pirate ship full of apples. Okay, if any, I'm sure all of you have heard that at least once. So I will leave you guys be, and in the next episode, we will check out some more of this awesomeness that is this Sparks. Get out of my way. I'm trying to explain something important about this pirate ship that looks like it's shaped like a shell. Or, I, I don't even know. It always made me think of a pirate ship, but it's not really a pirate ship. I, or is it? Or is it? Dun, dun, dun. Anywho, I will see you guys next time.